So up until this point, we've been talking about how to signal, when to signal, when to check for your turn, and also when you should turn the steering wheel. But we haven't talked about how to turn the steering wheel. But before I talk about that, I want to talk about how many turns you can turn the steering wheel if your steering wheel is straight and your wheels are straight. To turn the steering wheel all the way to the left, so you've got your wheel going all the way to the left. So if I were to count in half turns, this would be a half turn and another half turn. And I've got maybe about another half in the steering wheel, just under half in that steering wheel before I can't turn it over to the left anymore. And if I were to step outside of the car right now and have a look, we can see that the steering wheel locked all the way to the left has also the wheel all the way to the left. Now, if I were to turn the steering wheel back to center, it would be half, another half, and another half to get center on the steering wheel. It's the same concept going to the right. So it's half, another half, and almost another half in the steering wheel. Now, what else is important is knowing that there's two positions where this emblem is looking up at you. I like to call them the fake straight and the real straight. So right now, we were locked all the way to the right, but when I bring the steering wheel back to here, it, I might be under the impression that, oh, well, if the steering wheel is straight, maybe the wheels are straight, but not quite. The steering wheel was all the way to the right. I turned a half turn. It's a little bit over, but it's still pretty much all the way over to the right. And if I turn the steering wheel one more turn to the left, now my steering wheel is back to center. So it's good to remember when you're doing parking maneuvers, where did I leave my steering wheel last? So if you're in the middle of a park and then you're like, wait, I don't remember where the steering wheel is, what you can do, at least when you're learning initially, is turn the steering wheel all the way to one direction until it doesn't go anymore, and then count half turns back to center, and one and a half turns should get you back to center. Now that we've talked about that, let's talk about how you can turn the steering wheel. So there's two options. There is the hand over hand method, so if I were to turn the steering wheel holding onto the steering wheel like so, and I wanted to go like this, there's only so much I can turn the steering wheel. Same thing if I were going to this direction, right? Before my hands lock and I can't turn the steering wheel. So one way you can turn the steering wheel is called hand over hand, which goes something like this. I'm gonna turn the steering wheel to as much as I can with this hand, and then I grab the steering wheel with my left hand and continue this motion. But as soon as I take over with this hand, I let go of this hand and place it on the top here so I can take over with this hand and it goes on and on until I can't turn the steering wheel. It's the same concept going backwards now. So I take the steering wheel up to here, put this hand here, and when I can't go any further, I cover with this hand and resume the motion. And this concept, again, because my hands are going over each other is called hand over hand. This steering is a little bit quicker than the one I'm about to show you, but there is pluses and minuses to each one. So uh, it's good to get in the habit of being able to use both depending on the situation. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to steer quickly, this one is probably the steering method you want to use. But for general day-to-day -day driving, then the next method I'm going to show you will also work nicely. And this method I'm about to show you is called the push-pull method or the pull-push method, whichever one you want to say first. And it goes something like this. I'm going to grab the steering wheel at the 12 o'clock position with my right hand. And if I'm going right, and I'm going to bring the steering wheel to as much as I can before I start hurting my arm here, and then I'm going to resume the rest of the turn with this hand. So if I were to do this again, the reason it's called the pull-push method, or push-pull method, is because I am pulling the steering wheel down with this hand, and I'm pushing it up with this hand. And it continues like so until I get as far as I need to go. So again, if I were to do this on this side, 
This is the push-pull method going over to the left. Now, the first time you do this, you're gonna be kind of uh, confused as you're doing either one of these. It's like, wait, do I pull this? Do I push this? Which way, what do I do, right? But if you sit in a parking lot and you just you know, play around with the steering wheel, trying to get whichever one of these methods you want to master, you will eventually get the hang of it, right? And it's okay if you misplace a hand and you were supposed to cross it over here and then you end up crossing it over here. Those things will iron themselves out as you get better and better at this, right? And sometimes I'll be in the middle of a turn and I'll notice, wait, why did I grab the steering wheel from there? But it doesn't matter because as long as the expected outcome is right, as long as I've managed to turn onto this new road, without go turning wide or turning too sharp, then it doesn't matter if I misplace one hand as I'm in the midst of turning this. 